everybody. <laughs> I just ended the last vlog and I'm gonna go ahead and start this one because today we are headed to Seward. We do have to do some stuff before we head there. Um, we were here in Eagle River for four nights. Um, it was such a good time. Here in Eagle River was more focused on like city stuff that we wanted to take our kids to, some a little bit of shopping, um, Chuck E. Cheese, batting cages, like the fun things of a vacation. And now we're gonna head to Seward. That's gonna be more camping, um, hanging out by the fire, just more chill, um, kind of like a refresher. But before we head to Seward, we do have to do some stuff on the camper. We gotta get it emptied out. We gotta top off the water. Um, we gotta make sure that's all running good because the water was kind of eh while we're here. So we gotta drain it all, start fresh. I gotta find a laundromat sometime today because we are all out of clothes. This is my lasher. I actually got this at Old Navy and it's, I put it on yesterday and I was like, ooh, I don't like it, but it's my only shirt. So <laughs> it's just kind of weird. Like um, it has like these weird long slits. Maybe it's kind of cute. I just feel very like, I don't know. It doesn't feel flattering to me, but anyways, okay. We're gonna finish packing up the camper. one time <laughs> my lost sighted mom bun we're here in eagle river he just emptied out the camper we're filling up the water we he hooked it all up i'm just i'm just sitting here holding the hose looking pretty this chevron in eagle river is so nice both employees that we have like talked to were just so kind and like helpful definitely stop here um we just got some gas we emptied the tanks we're filling up fresh water. Um, they're just very kind people here, very nice. The bathroom's really clean here. Just like, it hits all the points for sure. You guys know I keep it real life on this channel. We just filled it up. He put the treatment in and we forgot to plug it. <laughs> so it's all training out. It's, just all, it's all part of having a camper, remembering these things. Now we're going for real this time. <laughs> There's a lot of water on the ground. Look ahead, the sea is calm And I know we've been through a lot But just wait mm, Wait for better days to come And carry us like wind in our sails Hold on tight I can smell the shore It's right in front of us If we just hold on tight this vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn We have a little less than an hour left to get to Seward and it's already felt long. The kids are just, they're, they're over, ooh, I, this hair, ooh, we ain't faking it today. Um, the kids are just over driving. The, the drive to Eagle River was a lot on them and they just, they don't want to be in the car. But we're almost there. We did want to do some stuff on the way here. Um, but the glacier that we wanted to go like see was like an hour and a half off the our, our route. The whole extra hour and a half. And that was just too far. The kids are just, they're over the drive. Um, and we were gonna stop at the conservation center, but that was closing. They only had an hour left of being open. So we just decided to wait till we had some more time. This has been like a crazy drive. It looks like Narnia out here. There's crazy mountains. There is like snow out here. We, I mean, not like down here, but there's just like snow on all the mountains around us. It's just very pretty. Um, there hasn't been really a good spot to like drone because the road is very small out here. 
but I would like to eventually throw my drone up. It might just be in Seward. Beautiful drive. We're about 20, 25 minutes from Seward. The kids all had to go to the bathroom and we decided to go ahead and just make some sandwiches, get, grab some apples, some blueberries, get something in their belly so we can kind of do a fire. Wow, look at the color of that. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. This water looks like ocean water. It is so beautiful. The water in like the Fairbanks North Pole area is very like murky brown. It's not pretty water. It's not nasty water. It's just got a lot of like silt and stuff in it. Anyways, the water here is beautiful. <laughs> All right. We are almost there. Um, still beautiful drive. The kids are they should be a little happier after they get some food in their belly. Quick stop. It was like a whip some sandwiches together, get back in the truck and let's go. <laughs> Here we pulled in. I'm a little like, I'm a little disappointed. One, this this parking spot is forty dollars a night, which is a lot. But it was the only one that had like a table and a fire ring. We wanted a fire ring to be able to do fires with the kids. That's something we really enjoy. And there was nothing when we pulled up. It was just a parking spot. And I'm like, we literally paid forty dollars for like a spot. And so I called to see if we could move spots because there was nothing here. And the lady was like, ah. Oh, I don't have a way to look to see what's available. She told me to go ahead and go grab one of the fire rings from like the other spots. So that's what we did. Um, and then I'm like, dude, we're paying $40. I went and grabbed a table too. <laughs> so we had to like create our own campground, but um, we're still gonna have a lot of fun. The kids are going a little bit crazy. We'll get set up and I'll update you. decided to head to this like the town of Seward and do some laundry this load in the washer now it's a big one but it was $12.50 for this load and we have a load of whites going so that hurt a little <laughs> and then to dry it it looks like it's gonna be like seven dollars maybe up to ten I don't know <laughs> ouch <laughs> this has turned into like a work a work day. This is really cute laundry mat here. Um, clothes are the dryer. We are gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave the clothes in the dryer here. This is a very like little town. If our clothes get stolen, I really don't think they're going to. It's a very small town. I'm not really worried too much about them getting stolen. If they do, that will be very expensive for us, but <laughs> the kids are starting to get hungry. We're gonna run to Safeway and grab a few things to make some burgers at the campsite and then come pick up the clothes and go make some dinner. All right, I feel like every time we've made plans today, it has not worked, so <laughs> we were on our way back here and we have leftovers from Benihana last night and we figured we should probably eat them up. There's a little more than I thought. I didn't think it was enough for a meal, but I think, all, I think there's enough for all of us to have another meal, so we're just gonna warm that up, maybe do some hot dogs over the fire tonight. <laughs> now that I say hot dogs over the fire, it's probably not gonna happen because that's how today has gone. <laughs> I'm gonna get them going, warm some food up, or Lance will, and then I'll head back and grab the clothes from the laundromat, come back here, and I just wanna chill and not do anything until like tomorrow afternoon. We are going to the Sea Life Center tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. All right, so <laughs> I meant to be better about vlogging today, but uh, it just got crazy. I went to the laundromat and picked up our clothes. I folded them, sorted them. And then I stopped and got some firewood, came back here, and that took like an hour, over an hour. And, <laughs> and then my mom made good popcorn. popcorn. I made the, the Jiffy Pop, the little ones you shake over the stove. Uh, those are kind of like a tradition for us when we, whenever we go out camping or anything, we get some of those, so they're a lot of fun. Tomorrow's kind of the last day I could make biscuits and gravy, and I think that'd be a lot of fun to have biscuits and gravy in the woods and just, have a nice calm morning, um, but my sausage expired, so I'm gonna go grab some sausage at Safeway. Safeway's not very far from this campground, which is super nice, and then I'll be able to relax. It's just been a busy day for me. We're still like recouping from the drive from, from yes. North Pole to yes. Eagle River. Yes. What? 
You got a juice. Oh my word. Mom, I just put a popcorn in the fire. I don't. I, I... Mom, I put a popcorn in the fire. Oh, you put a kernel in the fire? Oh. No. Thank you. I just put a normal popcorn. It went to this, to this. Oh, it shrunk? Yeah, it shrunk. Oh my word. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder what would happen if we put a kernel in there. Did it pop? Yeah. <laughs> I guess this campground actually has like real toilets that like flush and have like sinks. So <laughs> that's kind of nice. The kids have loved using the like the bathrooms at the campground, at least in Eagle River. And so they would like run back and forth. Um, one of us would go and we'd look for cars and then they would go run back and forth um, when they had to go to the bathroom. It was just really sweet. All they have here for a grocery store is Safeway. So I'm gonna go run and grab some sausage and come back here and just chill around the fire. Again, I did not end this video, so I figured I would come on here. It is slightly windy outside, so if you hear the crazy sounds. We ended up just relaxing around the campfire this whole night. We, the kids were like playing with throwing the kernels into the fire and like seeing them pop. And it was just one of those like relaxing nights. Everybody was still very burnt out at this point. Like it almost felt like we were just kind of like getting through it. Like I want them to have those memories. I want them to look back on this and say it was fun, but everyone was very tired. Uh, luckily the next day, everyone was well rested. So we ended up having a, a fantastic day the next day, but you will have to hit that subscribe button to see the next day. We have a whole day in Seward that I will have next. So I'm gonna end this one. Thank you guys for coming along on our adventure around Alaska. We appreciate you, we love you. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn.